Say hello to my current favorite hero in the meta. It's Starring Jara. No joke, guys. She is actually nerfed. The title's not lying. The thumbnail isn't clickbait. This is straight up truth. Uh, DH Games supposedly had her mathed wrong. Her core of origin reads, when an ally releases an active skill, there's a 20% chance to restore their energy by 30 and a 30% chance to restore their energy by 30 again. And there's a 10% chance to inflict Petrify Rock Lock to a random enemy for two rounds. If it's a basic attack, there's a 10% chance to freeze and they heal. So what was happening, supposedly, according to DH Games, is this chance to CC, that's 10%, was happening way more often than it should. Which really is irritating, because it means that those of us that have been using her have been misinformed. We've been using this core based on testing and people saying, yeah, this is really reliable, it's a great form of CC, and because it's been able to clear game modes, it's allowed people to push ahead. If DH Games decide it's bugged, which they have done, and nerf it to take it back and fix the numbers, then it means that those that made progress have always got that progress locked, they, they don't have to undo it, and it means those that haven't are basically screwed. Is this a bad thing? Potentially, because it means that the power creep and lots of the power that we thought Jara had was misinformation, but at the same time it also means that, well, they've fixed something? I th it's stupid, right? Because they, they do this sometimes, and it really annoys me with DH games. If you go to the notice, you'll see they put this little sentence in that says other game optimizations and bug fixes. Or bug fixed, right? Just a bug. Doesn't even tell you what it is. Because they know hands down. People have spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on the basic premise that this core of origin is stupidly strong and have bought this thing only for them to come along and go, actually, sorry, it was bugged. It was doing more CC than it was supposed to. Which is, that's not fair. You, you, you can't make a mistake and then punish the player base for it without so much as a refund. I don't log in here and get told, oh, sorry guys, we messed up. No, I just claim my daily rewards like I normally do and that's it. They're trying to shove this one under the rug. So no, I'm not going to let them. I'm going to make a video about it right now as I'm doing and tell you guys. Now, for a lot of you, you don't have the core of origin, but people literally yesterday with no information, no knowledge of this, just were going into the Undersea Adventure, spending a ton of money, maxing this out, or at least, you know, trying to. You need to get every single lobster you can to be able to do this. But if you max it out, you go to the Ultimate Treasure and ta-da, right? People have been getting tons of Core of Origin shards. You get two here, and you get one from this, and one from this, and that's a total of two Cores of Origin put together. Two Jara Core of Origins that you could have picked up that it turns out have been nerfed. Or, oh, sorry, fixed, according to DH Games. So, yeah, I'm not happy about this, and I just wanted to bring some attention to it. And, yeah, I'm just cross. So, thanks for tuning in. That's all I have to say about that. And I think it's a bit scummy. If you want to know for how this is actually going to affect you if you have Jara's Core, it just means that you're going to CC less when you attack. So if I go, for example, and find someone to hit, let's see if I can find Lucario. And um, it just means that when my Jara does her attacks, her CC is going to be less consistent. So if you look here, when our teammates attack, there's a much slimmer chance that CC comes out on the opponents. Now, it'll still happen. Hopefully, we'll be able to demonstrate that. Um, but it's going to happen nowhere near as much. So there you go. Freya did an active skill. Nothing happened. Uh, we still haven't put any CC out. People are doing active. Still no CC. Basic from Sherlock. Still no CC. And yeah, it's it's a bit of a shame. We get CC'd by Lucario's Jara. That's annoying. I didn't realize he'd built one at this point. That's a bit of a pain. But yeah, we're, we're hitting out. Still no CC. And um, yeah, I get wrecked which is a shame. I, I got killed by CC. Obviously, he beats me on speed. He's got snow hearts and things, uh, but a clutch CC would have been great there. Let's try again. Let's see if this time my basic attacks will CC the opponent. All right, let's go. You go first, and then the Jara hits him with a basic. I get hit by the Aspen. No CC from my active skill there. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Obviously, I'm losing on speed. No CC yet. No CC. Nons come out. Nons come out. Still none. Sword flash attack, still no CC. 
their starring Jaro doesn't active, and then I get CC'd. And the only way I actually managed to CC the opponent was with Sherlock reflecting the CC onto that Sword Flash. And yeah, my Jaro got dunked by the opposing Jaro because my Jaro is slower. Uh, because Lucario has finally optimized his team, which is actually good to see, which means he's going to be a good FTA partner. But originally his team didn't have Starwing Jaro, and holy crap, look how much he's been spending. Dear Lord, Tree of Origin 3, that's new. So yeah, Lucario has massively got up in power. But as you saw, loads of basic attacks from both teams, for that matter, were coming out. Active skills, no CC. The only way the CC really came out was from Jara doing it herself, which... Does that mean the Core of Origin doesn't work anymore? I mean, it it should, but it's way less consistent than it used to be, which means we've been totally misinformed, which means it's just not as good as it was, which obviously means anyone that's decided to purchase this on the premise that it's really overpowered has been screwed over. So yeah, that sucks. And um, rip hundreds of dollars with no compensation. Thanks, DH Games.